Hi right, folks, Patrick here, Half Cheetah Will View. It's Tuesday, and that could only mean one thing. I mean, it must be Library Day. That's right. Uh, went out to the library today. Uh, today was bag sale day, so uh, this is where we, they put everything up for sale. Pretty much whatever you can fit in a bag, you can get for $6. So $6 for as much as you can hold. Now, normally they just give you plastic bags like you just get at the grocery store but um uh, i'm very lucky um our our clerk is very graciously uh lets me use my marvel superhero bag uh so i got this from catfish actually we used to go to aldi's he used this for go to go to aldi's but now he uses to go to the library so anything you can fit in that bag there, you can have for six dollars. Um, sale before last, I did okay. I did okay. Uh, the last bag sale I did was absolutely. Uh, the only good thing about about it was I did get a book that I've been looking for for a very long time. Um, uh, uh, Run Lola um, uh, by Rio Ewer. So I was able to get that last time, but that was it. I got one book and I got one movie from the last bag sale, so um, I wasn't really optimistic, you know, because it, you know it's Tuesday. Generally means Monday. Everybody comes and pounds it, uh, but I did pretty well, I think. Oh. So everything you see here, I got in one bag for a grand total of sixty dollars. So the first thing I got uh, from the classic story, um, the Texas story, someone had. This is factory seal. Someone had bought it from Big Lots. I guess they didn't want it or had been sitting in the shelves for a while. And so they donated it. So this is still factory sealed. And this stars uh, Kirk Douglas and Eleanor Parker. Eleanor Parker, you might remember her from The Sound of Music. So there's that. Brand new. Uh, next, I got a copy of Saw 4. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to clean some of these off. Uh, some of these movies uh, a little bit dirty, not scratchy, but dirty, like thumbprints and everything else. And so uh, I did get this copy of Saw 4. I uh, didn't have it, wanted to get it. So uh, because we interviewed one of the stars of the film, Karen Kleesh, uh, which I'll put down in the description box. She was in this movie as well. So and I've never seen 4, so now I have a reason to see it. So, yep. Uh, next... The library has had a lot of films come out for themselves. Uh, so this is actually a library film. It has a yellow button there. Uh, and this is a movie called Midway. Or uh, Mayday. Not Midway. Uh, Mayday. I don't know anything about it. The cast looks interesting. The cast looks interesting. So I thought, why not? So uh, so this is Mayday. I'm not sure if this is contemporary or if this is a, this is a fantasy film. But I'll tell you when I watch it. Uh, next up, Factory Sealed, and <laughs> ironical that I found this on the week of his death, but um, uh, William Hurt and The Doctor. So this is brand new, Factory Sealed, and this is a, one of his critically acclaimed films that he did. Um, so I've never, like I said, I've never seen it, So, uh, but I'm a big William Hurt fan, so I got this. All right, so uh, I also picked up this special copy of the original Saw. Now I know there's a co there's a compilation out there, so I guess this is sort of double dipping. I know there's a I know there's a collection out there of, of all the movies on one on Blu-ray and one on one uh, on one package. But I sort of saw this and I said, you know what, I, I like this. This is sort of cool. So uh, I went ahead and uh, he has has the slip cover. And so I went ahead and bought the first saw. But the back of it looks absolutely packed with uh, uh, features too. So you know me and features. Okay. Uh, next up, another library film. Uh, this one is called A Journal for Jordan. That just came out. Um, this is not that old. I think this is a matter of like a month old maybe. That has been out. But um, this stars Michael G. Bo Michael... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Michael B. Jordan 
Uh, of course, we know him from Black Panther. Uh, so, um, so yep. So there we go. So this would be good right here. Uh, this was directed by Denzel Washington. Okay, another one I got. I'm not sure if I have this. I don't think I do. Uh, so I'm really hoping that I don't because I, I think I would have watched it by now. But Factory Sealed, A Nightmare Before Christmas. So uh, I don't think I have that yet. Uh, I got The Corpse Bride. That's the one I picked up from the library before I picked up The Corpse Bride. But I didn't even pick up A, a Nightmare Before Christmas, so... All right, uh, I got a documentary here. Um, it's a it's a greatest hits by the band Journey from 1978 to 1997. So yeah, I grew up with Journey. Journey is one of the musical acts I cut my teeth on. So I had all their records back back in the day, and so uh, I can't get a chance to see this. It'll be a, a lot of fun. Um, yep. So this is all, all the, I think the, this is all, uh, I'm not sure if they're a video or if this is a, a live concert, but we'll definitely find out when I watch it. Okay. Uh, okay, the last DVD that I have is, uh, it's a Wes Anderson film, the latest he did, called The French Dispatch. Uh, this is also a Larry Berry film, A French Dispatch. I'm not sure how this is going to work, how this is going to be. I don't know, know really much about it. I know it has a, a great cast in it, including um, Tilda Swinton, uh, Benicio Del Toro, Aiden Brody, um, Bill Murray's in it, of course. Uh, Owen Wilson, of course. Jason Schwartzman, of course. So all, all the usual suspects for a, a, a Wes Anderson film right here. So that's the DVDs that I got for the for the dollar for the uh, Dollar Tree no for the library. But I do got some uh, Blu-rays. I do got some Blu-rays, so I'll bring that over here. All right. So this is still out of the same bag for six dollars. Uh, I picked up Toy Story two. A lot of Disney at this time around. People donated Disney. So Toy Story two. Uh, Transformers. Uh, Dark of the Moon. Probably will never understand watching this. It's so kinetic. I, I can never really make out who's coming or who's going in a, in a Transformer movie. But I decided to pick it up. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I also picked up Men in Black 3. I saw the first two. I have not seen the third one. So uh, I picked it up because I had not seen it. So... I don't know how it is. I know it has Josh Brolin in it, so that's not bad. Uh, I upgraded for the next movie. I found the I found my copy at the at the at the uh, library. I got a copy of it on DVD, but now I am going to upgrade it to um, to Blu-ray, and that is a Christmas story. So yeah, so I upgraded it. So now I have a spare copy. All right, next up. Uh, I saw the previews for this, um, a Lego movie, uh, Ninja Ninjago, um, uh, I do believe this has Jackie Chan in it, if I'm not mistaken, which is why I remember that, because I think Jackie Chan's in this one, uh, let me, let me Magoo it here, um, yep, yeah, Dave Franco, Jackie Chan, and Justin Thoreau, so, all right, getting some good stuff here now. Uh, I found a copy of The Internals. Yes, I was very happy to see that. Came out of the library, so I got The Internals for pennies on the dollar. So, there it is. Uh, last Night in Soho. Yeah, I was really surprised when I came in and saw the, the, the Blu-ray that the library had dropped off. Yeah, I was going, I was pretty happy about that. This is, this is a pretty good haul. So, last night at Soho. Uh, the centerpiece for me, oh, the haul, what I got today. Uh, the one I was, I was so happy to see and got Titan. 
So I know my sister is my sister says this is the, the weirdest movie she's ever seen. I'm glad to have it because I really wanted to see this really bad. So I was really happy to see the library had enough taste to carry it. So was not expecting to see this at the library uh, for the subject matter, but glad to have it. Uh, I just showed this off a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of hauls ago. Um, uh, uh, my friend Elaine uh, had graciously given me a copy of this on DVD, and then they put it out on Blu-ray, so I upgraded, and I'll be giving my copy uh, that she was very gracious enough to give me. I'll be giving that back to her for her and her family. So I got this uh, today. Yeah, I'd like to take that out. i got to give a shout out to Elaine. Uh, my car is still on, on the Schritz. So uh, she has very graciously come by uh, the last couple of weeks. And and we've got, done the, show, the library together. Um, so I really am thankful for that, uh, Elaine. I know you're watching. I appreciate what you and your family have done uh, very much. Um, thank you again. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> makes makes life a little easier. Uh, I'd like to get my car back. That that would make my life easier too. So uh, continuing on, Madagascar three. <laughs> you know I have never seen the Madagascar movies at all. I know about the about them, but I've never watched them. So, yeah. No cheetahs. They have a lion on here, but who wants to see a lion? I don't know. All right. Uh, next. Got Venom. Let There Be Carnage. So, there's another superhero movie for us. Uh, this is the Marvel movie. So, I'm, uh, I'm actually have high hopes that I'll be getting the Spider-Man movies. Uh, the, the the ones that are the Spider-Man, uh, you know, the, the last one they did. I have high hopes that I'll be able to get a copy of that through the library. So, um, yeah, I was really happy to get this. Okay. Continuing on kids' movies, Disney did a uh, version of The Seven Samurai called A Bug's Life. What's This is absolute a hoot right here. Um, a lot of fun. So glad to find it and on Blu-ray, nonetheless. Um, so, yep. I saw this in the theater and uh, was thoroughly tickled um, that they did the, the Seven Samurai uh, in, in cartoon form. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, so, yep. So, Bugs Life. I'll probably end up, you know, honestly, I'll probably end up watching that tonight after I get off the show. Uh, yes, there is a show tonight, too, by the way. Uh, I'll, it'll probably be just me, but uh, we'll, there will be a show on tonight. Let's see. Uh, next up, um, Despicable Me 2. I had one, but it wouldn't play in my, my, in my player. So I'm hoping that number two will play in the player. So never seen any of the Despicable movies, but I love them. So. Let's see, uh, let's see, what else is next? Oh, uh, this is next, uh, Nomadland. This is the Oscar winner from last year. This should not have been her, she, not, she shouldn't have won. Frances McDormand, she should have not have won. I'm telling you that right now. The Oscar should have went to Haley Bennett for Swallow. It's outrageous that, the, that she didn't get considered. So, um. Frances McDormand. She's a good actress, but she is, you know, it's not the end all to end all, you know. There's a lot of other young, talented actresses out there. I mean, slap her name on it, and, you know, I don't know. Jessica Chastain got nominated for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Really? Really? That's that's the best performance in, in, in Hollywood this year? She got nominated for that? About, just, just, No. Just absolute no. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to watch Nomadland, and uh, I'll tell you what I think about it. I'm not going to be sitting here racking on it, because I heard this is actually a very good movie. It's a very good movie, and I am I do want to see it. Um, the, act, the director of this movie won an Oscar for it, and then she went on to direct Eternals, and she got roasted over that. But I'm not so sure about that. Eternals looks actually pretty good. 
I, 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 the previews that I saw of it, I was glad to get Eternals. I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, so, no man land. And of course, Will Smith is up for Best Actor Award this year for King Richard, the father of the Serena sisters. So, I like Will Smith. It's probably the only reason I really I bought this. I got this one. Because I'm a Will Smith fan. Um, so, yep. And then last but not least, the last movie I got, uh, I got a copy of the new Dune movie. Dune. So this also made it into the bag. So I had a pretty good haul, I think. I think. Let's see. I tell you how much I pay for everything here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I got sixteen Blu rays. I got sixteen Blu rays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got twenty five movies for six dollars. This all cost me six dollars. So, yeah. And like I said, a lot of these are just brand new, hitting the shelves whatnot all right well uh you guys tell me how i did um which movie uh, uh, remember these are all eligible for dollar tree theater all these are all eligible because i got them for less than a dollar um so you know gina wants to know well, how much i paid 20 i paid basically 25 for six dollars yeah what is it Dollar twenty five a piece, a twenty. But no, it's not a dollar twenty five, dude. It's like a quarter. All right, it's like a quarter a piece. Uh, yep, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, please hit the uh, uh sub button and hit the notification bell. Uh, and leave a comment down below. Let let us know what you thought, how we did today. Uh, looking forward to going back next week. Um. Hopefully, well, it'll be just as exciting, and we will talk at all. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Um, tomorrow night, I have uh, actress and director Destiny Soria will be out with me on Eight Questions with, um, and hopefully, we'll see you there. Peace.